that you'll see today are my assemblage work, and they're a combination of found objects like wood, wire, glass, anything I can find that I could possibly turn into artwork is not safe from me. And I combine that with my original sculpture and I make something completely new. Sometimes I get asked, you know, why I do what I do, and uh, the short answer is because it's fun. Sometimes I think artists are a little hesitant to admit that, you know, it's fun to make artwork because they're afraid that people won't take their work seriously, but I take my fun very seriously. The title for this show, The Sum of Its Parts, is actually an extract from the quote, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, because I thought it was a good example of what happens when I'm creating my assemblage sculptures. I'm hoping that the whole that I have created has more meaning than just the stitching together of the fragments. I start with a pile of odds and ends, the odder the better the disparate pieces like a bunch of jumbled up words waiting to be assembled into a comprehensible language. I spend a fair amount of time collecting the different elements for my sculptures and I'm actually very picky about what I choose and I get very excited when I find something good. I tend to like things that are weathered, have interesting shapes, particularly things with rounded edges and curves and organic shapes. Interestingly, it's often just one piece that is the initial catalyst for the entire sculpture. For instance, on this sculpture, Wings of Thunder, I found this beautiful large piece of copper and I loved the movement in it. And I got the idea to use it as part of the garment on the Samurai Warrior. The scale of the rest of the sculpture had to be designed to work with the size of this piece of copper. And all the decisions thereafter were based on this as well. I have always loved horses, always thought they were magnificent creatures, so beautiful, especially when they run. As a matter of fact, I think my first crush was a horse. When my daughter was young, she took riding lessons, so we were able to spend a good deal of time at the stables. Uh, on this piece, I found a large chunk of blue resin, and I broke it into sections, and that's what I used for the horse's face and part of his neck. This piece is called Dreaming, and I wanted to do a contemporary take on the male nude, but still have it infused with a bit of fantasy. I had seen some photos of wounded soldiers, and I was really profoundly moved by both their sacrifice and their masculine beauty, and I just kept thinking about it. To me, these men were beautiful, and I did this as sort of a valentine to them. The 
the things I think and feel when I'm sculpting aren't unique to me, of course. They are in everyone, a common thread to us all. But I think when people see art that resonates with them, it reminds them of this fact, this human connection. I created the lover sculpture by portraying clowns, characters that we normally think of as being silly, but here we see them engaged in a moment of passion. I thought it would be a nice dichotomy to see the emotion under the makeup and masks, kind of a metaphor for how we all run around with a certain level of decorum, but underneath, we are all flesh in a whirlwind of emotions. If people recognize something of themselves and something that I create, something familiar, then I think we can connect on a more meaningful level. As far as subject matter, I'm sure I'll remain interested in the palette of human emotions. We're so weird and complicated and interesting, I don't think I'll ever grow tired of trying to find new ways to express that.